Billy? Are you here? Billy? Where are you? I'm at some bridge. I see water. Ah, oh, wait, there's something wrong. Gotcha. Hey. Hey. It's good to see you, Billy. How are you? Good, good. Venice was a great idea. Have you been here before? Only once with my dad to see some exhibition. Art? I think so. I was 10. Do you hang out here a lot? Sometimes. I like it. I like it too. What day is it? April 9th, 2021. The 20s again. I was born in 21. I know, but not in March. No. And you? 2020. Zodiac? Libra. Me, Capricorn. I know. Typical Libra. They know everything. So true. I'm calling my first fashion collection 2021. Because of us? <laughs> yeah. And because of the crazy years just before the upheavals. 2021. A state of paralysis and existential pain. Decide not if you like pain. In life? No. But in fashion, yes. Is this was a design of yours? Yeah. Doesn't look like pain. Maybe that's why it's preemptive fashion. The next collection and the one after that create the one you see. Your point, poser. Really, almost everything was still done with phones. Shopping, info, communication. The majority of people in Europe thought that with artificial intelligence, an age of complete surveillance would begin. Because in the beginning, AI was centralized in huge data centers. Only a few companies had the technology. It wasn't until the second half of the 20s that it decentralized. Phones didn't learn. They were primarily fed with data, I think. Fed with data. Fed with data and ads and spam. Vincent, it would be much more consistent if we use phones here and now and not AIs. My mom reckons in the early 20s, everyone would have been so bent over. My father got his hand from that. Where's yours anyway? Up ahead. Is your AI at home this pushy too? Not at all. Sometimes I even think it's forever a night rest. Mom thinks that the early 20s were a totally broken time. They were. The rich were super rich and yet totally unhappy because there was no direction at all. And everyone else started complaining. 
There was a lot to complain about. Yeah, and everyone else was really messed up. Were your parents messed up too? My mom said that she and my father and their friends were doing readily well. She found it quite absurd in retrospect. And then dad was involved in the negotiations. What does your dad do for a living? He was an architect. What? Yeah, he died five years ago. Oh, fuck. Sorry to hear that. You couldn't have known. I'm a Libra. I know everything. True. Is that why you want to become an architect? Kind of. Dad was more interested in legislation. In central Bavaria, he made sure that land wasn't owned privately anymore. Private ownership of land? When was that? 2028. No joke. Crazy. And my dad really understood that architecture was about being managed by the environment more than managing the environment. Sounds great. It's not about the finished object, but more about the processes and systems you design. Sure. My father's colleagues were stuck by details and forgot about the potentiality. Scared of reality in a way, but my dad, he saw the bigger picture. Nice. My dad was an Italian cabaret artist in Vienna. He had many jokes about Germans in his portfolio. Wanna hear one? Nah. Why aren't you called Greta? I'd been a girl, my parents would have named me Greta. I was born on the same day. I know. The very day Greta turned 18. Okay, that was too much for my parents. But my dad was a blatantly Irish fan, so... In my school were 16 Gretas, 11 Billies, some Hannahs, Mias, Amas, and a Tilda. Oh wow, I'm so lucky that you still like me. I like you, Greta. I like you too, Greta. Weren't you born on the same day? No. In 2021, the 17th Architecture Biennale asked the question, how will we live together? And the German pavilion was about the year 2038. <laughs> What's so funny? 2038 was about last year. And? Because of sharply rising corona infection numbers, most of the presentation in the German pavilion was virtual. It was augmented, and they showed more than four hours of film. From the year 2038. <laughs> and? I think back then they separated virtual and not virtual quite a lot. Who's they, Billy? 2038. <laughs> told me that in all forms of society, people always settle at about the level of happiness that is genetically inscribed in them. So most people should have always been doing as well as they are today. Doesn't that call into question this whole moral, move the global approach? On the contrary, I'd rather be semi-happy in a fair society than semi-happy in an unfair one. Sure, it's not about what you and I think, but you and I being part of a system or being part of systems. Do you think our eyes think about this as much as we do? More. There are still AIs. I 
I think Vincent still doesn't think in cybernetic or recursive loops. But Billy does. Well, she's an active member of Nova Global, and they know that every part is integrated into a process and at the same time changes the whole. Do they? Yes, they do. I think they still think exceptional human shape in the world. They're still very much stuck in the reflexive model in which two poles face each other and reflect on each other. No, they are into loops. Are they? The Nuva Global is totally into systems where we and humans and everything around us are material for learning. Everything that is good and everything that is bad flows into algorithmic processes of shaping the future. Do you actually feel like visiting me sometime in Antwerp? I'd love to. I was planned on doing interrail to Europe soon. What's interrail? It's a cheap train flat rate for young people. Nice. Is it new? I think so.